Here's the Sacramento Kings. They done brought D Rose home. Or Debo. <laughs> they done brought Debo home. I, I, I got too hyped thinking about the songs. But anyway, DeMar DeRozan and the Sacramento Kings have agreed on a sign and trade deal that landed DeMar DeRozan in Sacramento for three years for $74 million. Now, this was a three team trade. So the Spurs, they received Harrison Barnes, and the Chicago Bulls received Chris Dart, two second-round picks, and cash compensation in exchange for DeMar DeRozan. So it's kind of crazy how all of this stuff lined up. But, of course, right off the back, I'm thinking the Kings, they become immediate competitors. We already know they won this trade by landing DeMar DeRozan. They add another threat on the outside. But they already have a lot of talent over there in Sacramento. But adding DeMar DeRozan, that's going to be the catalyst that really take them to the next level of a deep playoff run. When I say deep playoff run, I'm not meaning the first or second round. I mean going back to the conference finals, a place they haven't been since 2002, which is well over 20 years now. So they're they're pretty desperate for another conference finals run um, or at least a finals appearance um, in the meantime. But we've seen DeMar DeRozan. He's been playing some of the best basketball that we've seen him play in the past couple of years. He's had great health, very consistent in that area and been a hell of a consistent player um, as well. But the part that sticks out to me the most with the Kings deal is that DeMar DeRozan is going to fit in perfectly with this scheme here. Because this is the guy you're bringing in. He can play off the ball. And I would love to see Debo play off the ball, coming off screens, and working out in the mid-range game with those guys, De'Aaron Fox and Sabonis, you know, being the distributors they are. I feel like it will really help them out. We already know they got a lot of shooters over there in Sacramento. Kevin Herter, Keegan Murray, uh, Malik Monk coming off the bench. De'Aaron Fox has been shooting the ball like crazy as well over there. So you got a lot of guys to spread the floor and help DeMar DeRozan out. And the key piece, which is really, really going to help the Kings, is in the clutch moments of the game, you have another player who can create his own shot. He can score at will, and he has no problem scoring in the clutch, as we've seen over the past few years. And he has no problem putting the ball in the hoop any way he needs to, whether it's from mid-range or the three-point game. We know most likely he's going mid-range if he's got to score the ball. But the good thing about the Kings is they have more than one option in a person they can go to in a late game situation. It's not gonna all be on De'Aaron Fox to get the last bucket or hit the go ahead bucket to win the game. Not gonna be on Sabonis to create opportunities for somebody else. You have another guy in DeRozan who's immaculate on the offensive end and it's gonna help out a lot, but there's multiple angles to this trade. Um, so of course the Kings, they're not the only ones that won something. I think the Spurs, they also got a lot better in this trade. Um, Harrison Barnes, Barnes is going to the Spurs in this deal here, and they kind of lucked up because Barnes is still a, a, a great talent in this league. This is somebody who's a, a who brings a veteran presence, and the Spurs, who have a lot of young talent over there, they can really, really use someone that's bringing a veteran presence. They already got Chris Paul, but now you add Harrison Barnes there too to help out Victor Wimbanyama and Stephen Castle. Like that's gonna be good for them. They're not in the business of winning right now, but teaching the young guys the ropes and making sure they get the hang of the league and get a feel for the, the routines that happen when you're in the league is going to be extremely important. And for the San Antonio Spurs, a team that has a lot of promise in the future because they have young talent, this is huge for them. I, I think this is definitely a, a big win in, in landing Harrison Barnes especially because he's not gonna on any he's not on any crazy deal or nothing like that and he can still very much score so this definitely puts the Spurs on a trajectory to win more than 22 games like they did last season and as far as the Bulls they pretty much got change in return <laughs> let's call it for what it is bro they got change in return however you got to understand something understand the Bulls didn't have much of a choice here you couldn't really have much leverage when your star wants to go you can't tell teams we are demanding these things when your star wants to go especially if you want to do right by the player that that helped your team out a lot so for the boys can't really be mad at them for you know taking what they had to 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 get rid of their star and send him off in a good way but you know above all i think the kings they're definitely going to make some noise this upcoming season here man uh it's going to be tricky for them because 
when you look at everything they've done in the past few seasons, it's nothing crazy. Everything tells you they're just a regular stagnant team. One playoffs appearance in like the last 16, 20 years, that's pretty bad. But we know the playoff appearance that they showed up and they played the Warriors and they went down. It was it was a little rough. And then last year they had to play in. They had a lot of injuries. So it's been rough for the Kings. But I, I really think this will be the thing that gets them over the hump. Um, don't be surprised that the Kings just pop up. You should know. They didn't just pop up. They've been good for a minute. They just haven't been able to really prove themselves. And last year could have been that year, but they were injured. They were dealing with a lot of injuries. So it was rough for them. But anyway, look, man, here's Kings owner with DeMar DeRozan after the trade via Kings. <laughs> 